couple of minutes about the subject of variants and the role of vaccination in protecting against variants. Can I have the first slide, please? So we're going to look at evidence from clinical trials, and when they're not available, from laboratory studies, as well as real-world experience to indicate the degree of protection against variants of interest or concern. Next slide. Here is a list very familiar to you of a number of the variants that are in play throughout the world and in the United States. Next slide. So let's go quickly through them and make one or two comments to inform where we are. First, the B117, the original UK variant, which now has assumed dominance in the United States. Next slide. It is very clear now that this particular variant is covered very well by the mRNA vaccines, as well as by the AstraZeneca, Novavax, and others, as shown by data from Israel on the right, in which the dominant 117 predominates there. And as you can see, as the vaccine doses increase, the cases come down. Similarly, in the United Kingdom, using other vaccines, you see the same situation. This is good news since this is the dominant variant. Next slide. The next slide is the one that's the most problematic, the South African variant, which is certainly not dominant here, but is in South Africa and other locations throughout the world. Next slide. The data we have I presented at a former conference. As you can see, the J&J &J is 64% efficacious, the Novavax 60%, the AstraZeneca, not so good. Of note, Pfizer did a small study in which they looked at the effect in South Africa and they found that as a matter of fact, it was 100% effective. The caveat here is still a very small study. But note the J&J &J, that even though it was 64% effective in South African study, there were virtually no deaths or hospitalizations. So although the efficacy went down for moderate disease, there was good protection against serious disease. Next slide. Then we have the P1, the one that is right now ravaging Brazil. Next slide. We know from studies now that there's variable protection in real world effectiveness, namely things that were not done necessarily in a clinical trial. In Brazil, it was 50% effective after a single dose. They went on to a second dose, and that stayed at approximately 50%. This was under the condition where 75% of the cases were P1. Rather similar results from Chile, a little bit better, with 67% effective versus symptomatic disease 14 days after the second dose. Next slide. Now, returning to the United States, the California variant, 429-427. Next slide. Here, we have mostly in vitro data. And by in vitro data, we mean we take the antibodies that are induced by vaccines, in this case, mRNA, and we determine their ability to neutralize the given variants in the test tube. And as you can see, there's a slight to modest loss here of about two to threefold. This is not likely going to be relevant from a clinical standpoint, since there's a considerable cushion in the antibodies induced by this vaccine. Next slide. And then we have the 526, which was originally the New York and spreading in certain areas in the New York City metropolitan area. Next slide. Here too, we rely on in vitro data with a moderate loss, about three to five times of neutralizing activity from the mRNA. Again, this is still within the cushion that you would see protected since the antibodies induced by this vaccine are considerably high. And then finally, next slide, we have the troublesome India 617. Next slide. Now, this is something where we're still gaining data on a daily basis. But the most, pre the most recent data was looking at convalescent sera of COVID-19 cases and people who received the vaccine used in India, the Covaxin.
and it was found to neutralize the 617 variant. So despite the real difficulty that we're seeing in India, vaccination could be a very, very important antidote against this. So I'll stop there with the final statement. The one thing you can gather from everything I've said, that it's very important to get vaccinated. So as Dr. Walensky said, even when you're talking about variants, indoors, outdoors, get vaccinated and you will certainly have a degree of protection.